Hi, my name is Dr. Clifford Carroll. I am the gastroenterologist here at Wayne Memorial Hospital. We're making this instructional video to help you prepare for your colonoscopy in such a way that it's easy, understandable, and results in a perfect preparation so that I can do a great colonoscopy for you. This is the most important part of the colonoscopy is getting ready because if it's not perfectly prepared, I may not see every polyp that is in the colon. A polyp is a growth that could become cancerous in the future and is removed during the colonoscopy that I do for you. So you can see that there are two parts to a great colonoscopy, that I do a great job and that the patient takes the preparation properly. That way we have an excellent colonoscopy, which is the most powerful tool we currently have to find polyps and prevent colon cancer. When you get a date for your colonoscopy, the day before, you can have a very light breakfast. Maybe an egg with some toast, maybe some fruit and cottage cheese, some coffee and tea. Not a lot, but something so you don't feel hungry for the rest of the day. But after 10 o'clock in the morning, the day before the colonoscopy, clear liquids after that. I want you to drink and stay hydrated rather than having nothing to eat or drink because having nothing can be dangerous. So I have an example of clear liquids here. Club soda, great idea. Gatorade or Powerade is fine. We have some examples of jello here, lime, and yellow is perfect. All the jello that you want, but not red or purple because it actually looks like blood when I do a colonoscopy if you have red jello. I find that having some chicken broth, some vegetable broth, or even miso soup is an excellent idea because it has some salt in it so you'll stay hydrated. Now at 5 p.m. the night before the colonoscopy, you're going to actually start preparing by cleansing the colon with either one of two products that I like to use for this purpose. Now I generally use only two preparations for colonoscopy. I don't use the Gatorade and Miralax preparation that others do because I find that that is a lot to drink and is not as effective in my experience as the FDA approved preparations for colonoscopy. The first one I want to show you is the traditional quote gallon that everyone knows and most people dread because it's so much to drink and every sip of it is preparation. But in some cases I do need to prescribe this one so I like to go over it with you. If this is the preparation that I've sent to your pharmacy it's called Gavalite and you've already picked it up at your pharmacy because it is prescription. It has some powder on the bottom, but it's otherwise empty. The day before your colonoscopy, you want you to fill this jug up with water to the fill line, which is at the top, which I've marked in black here, but not anymore. It's actually four liters, which is 134 ounces, which is more than a gallon. But I'm not gonna make you drink all 134 ounces. We've learned that it's not necessary. We're going to ask you to drink the preparation twice. It's called split preparation. All the studies demonstrate that drinking some of the prep the night before and some of the prep the morning of results in a much better cleansing of the colon. So now the standard of care is split preparation. So let me tell you how to do that with this. At 5 p.m. the night before, I want you to start drinking this one eight ounce glass at a time every 15 minutes for a total of eight glasses. That's about half of this jug. I don't want you to do any more, but just do eight over two hours by pouring it into the cup and drinking it down every 15 minutes. Now, some people require a little extra time. That's very understandable and it results in just a great preparation. So if it takes you two and a half hours to do that, that's fine. You can still have your clear liquids. You'll start to use the restroom in an hour or two. And you can go to bed. Usually people will sleep and not be up all night. If you drink the whole preparation the night before, people are up all night using the restroom. The key is 
that the next morning, the day of the colonoscopy, you're going to start in again with what's remaining in the jug by pouring one eight ounce glass and drinking it every 15 minutes, starting at four o'clock in the morning for eight more glasses. That's a total of 128 ounces, which is a gallon, and just shy of the total amount that's actually in the jug. You'll finish at 6 a.m. and that preparation is done and you should be noticing that you're using the restroom and passing a clear yellow watery stool with, any, with no brown or, and no specks. That's the first prep I use and that one's called Gavalite. What I believe is a much easier way to prepare for a colonoscopy is this prep. This one used to be called SUPREP, S-U-P-R-E-P, -E but now it's a generic. And in my experience, most insurances will cover it, but not all insurances will cover it. I always try to get you this prep first, but if I can't because it's uncovered and too expensive, I may have to give you the Gavalite, which is always inexpensive because it's been around for so long. Now, if you're doing this prep, and both of these will be sent to your pharmacy electronically at the time of your visit, this one is easier. You're going to do the same thing the day before. You can have breakfast, but after 10 o'clock in the morning, clear liquids. At 5 p.m. the night before the colonoscopy, you're going to open up one of these bottles, they're identical, and pour it into the mixing cup that comes with the kit. Now you can see it doesn't come all the way up to the fill line, it comes up shy of half, maybe about a third. So you need to fill up the rest of the cup to that line with water or water and ginger ale or water and apple juice. No one likes the taste. It tends to be medicinal like cough syrup. So if you find that you need to adjust the taste by adding some other clear liquid, studies have shown that that's just fine and even the package insert recognizes that that's just fine to do. In my experience with patients, a little ginger ale is the easiest way to make this more palatable. Now, I know people are tempted to guzzle this down because it's not that much to drink, but I want you to drink that slowly over one hour, not one minute. One hour, drink it down from 5 to 6 p.m. From 6 to 7 p.m., I want you to drink two more waters to that fill line, no prep, just waters, over the next hour. So two-thirds of what you just did was water. After that, you'll start to use the restroom. Again, everyone's different, could be an hour or two. You can still have the clear liquids, the coffee, without the creamer, the tea. The next morning of the colonoscopy, you wake up at four o'clock in the morning, open up the second bottle. It is identical to the first. Pour in the liquid, finish filling it to that top line with water, and drink it slowly from four to five a.m. Again, don't drink it quickly. After that, I want you to chase it down with two more waters, like you did the evening before, from 5 to 6 a.m., and you're finished with it at 6 a.m. You should be passing a yellowish clear stool in preparation for your colonoscopy. The total amount you consume with this preparation is 64 ounces over the two days, and two-thirds of that is water, whereas the Gavalite is 128 ounces I'm, I'm giving you, and every sip is preparation. That's why people tend not to like this one as much as this one. When you're done with the preparation, you should be passing yellow clear stool and heading off to the hospital uh, downstairs to the first floor in the registration area. It's called the information desk where you'll be registered and guided to the second floor waiting room where a staff member will come and pick you up and get you ready for the actual colonoscopy process. So I hope that this instructional video on how to prepare for a colonoscopy was helpful and that it results in an excellent, clean colonoscopy so that I can detect precancerous polyps in a way that everyone is expecting and is high quality. I hope that the preparation was easy from this 
instructional video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the procedure soon.